Aries, thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes here to give you a reading, my love. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Martians, Astronauts, pick a note. It doesn't matter to me. I love you all. Cross Watchers, I am a snitch. I'm telling you now. Please don't curse me in the comments. Love you too. Aries, this is a judgment-free zone, but you will hear the truth. If you found the message or the message found you, it's because there's something in here for you, love, or a seed to be planted for tomorrow. No gender or age, only energy. You want to hear me use terms, he, she, her, him, they, them, it, heifer, pay it no mind, okay? Feel the energy and remember, roles can always be reversed. Aries, I thank you. Like, share, subscribe, emails, comments, love tokens, donations. Thank you. <laughs> thank you guys so much for your support of the channel. Okay, let's talk about your energy. I have not felt this calm and at peace and balanced in your energy for some time. Um, true justice energy is here. I have to say that that's a Libra's energy, but you feel like you're in justice right now. You feel like you're in your truth. You feel like you're in your true purpose. Um, I feel that you've uh, mastered um, time management for, you know, for the moment. Life is not lifing you. You're living it. Does that make sense? Um, I love it. I have to say I absolutely love it. I even feel love in your energy. Um, so if you're in a relationship, I feel that it's just really in a good place right now. I think you're in a good place, period, in life right now. Um, even if you have a legal situation, I feel that it's working in your favor. In your energy, life is just flowing. It just feels like a really nice, like a flow, like a, like, you know, there's a few ripples in the water, but it's nice, you know, kind of like a nice breeze on a summer night. It's just nice. And I love this energy. I love it. Kudos to you. We're pulling from the Oracle of the Seven Energies for you today. Aries, please. Aries, please and thank you. Aries, thank you. Nice. Birds of a feather. And then a powerful move coming in. Okay. Now that that's bold. Yeah, that's that's that fire coming back. Okay. So birds of a feather. Let's talk about this energy. Um, this is a collaboration. Okay. Now, everybody talking about being on the same page for this birds of a feather. Um, so uh, like for street terms, it would be, uh, what is it? Like spirits find each other. I think my grandmother used to say like spirits find each other. Um, but this feels more so like your angels, your ancestors are really kind of getting on the same page with you. They're coming down to your level or bringing you up to their level, however you want to ver uh, word it. Um, but everybody on the same page for the next, talking about the next event, the next chapter, um, this next powerful move that you have coming in, because this is going to open up a whole new world for you. Okay. This move that you have coming in. So maybe you're kind of just right now it's like uh, the, the quiet before the storm, but this storm is going to be a flood of abundance, a flood of newness in your life. Don't think of storms as far as chaos, but just an overflow. Um, I love this energy. I, I just, I don't know what else to say about it, guys. I love it. Look at the, see both of these, a powerful move and opening to discovery. They both have keyholes here. You're getting ready to really make a major change in your life and it's going to be a, just a whole new life and you're going in 10 toes down with earth magic. You're going in strong. You're going in um, uh, tapping into your divine source. You understand? Um, I love it. I, I, and your angels and ancestors have your back, baby. Hello. That is beautiful. Let's do, let's do the animals today for you. We're going to do the animal spirit uh, tarot for your spread. Man. 
it's kind of like Aries, if you have, you have, have a, like a decision is being made. It, like uh, if you have a case and, and the jury goes in and they talk about, you know, uh, they vote who's guilty, who's not. But once they all on the same page for a change, once we reach a decision, that's what this feels like. A decision has been made, you know, has been reached. So now the follow-up takes this move right here, which is that judgment call and the uh, force that goes behind it, the action that goes behind it. Because once the decision is made, you still have to implement the action to support it and to get it started and to get it moving. And the energy that you're in right now, the decision is made, you know? So now it's um, coming in is the activation. Mm, nice, Aries. God darn. Center, please, for Aries. Yep. And there's a tower, Scorpion energy. I'm telling you, the decision is made. It's made with or without you. Because, see, these are angels and ancestors, like I said, collabing on your behalf. And they're going to put you down. They're going to put you down. Uh, the tower is divine intervention. It's a lightning strike that tears down what you built. I'm not going to lie. So we don't like to see it coming, but it is such a blessing because see what you built may have built on a faulty foundation or it may have uh, blocked your path and you were meant to go further along. Basically, what it does is it makes you stop stopping and keep going. This is, you know what I mean? That's what the tower does. It's uh, sudden. It's quick. It's a lightning strike, you know? Coming in at the bottom, Ten of Swords. Uh, so we're putting an end. See, this is an ending. And that transition, this is a new beginning coming in, my love. Beautiful. Right into the Four of Wands. You know, balance, bliss, celebratory energy, the next step. That's that powerful move. You know, so you might be getting ready to propose or getting ready to get married or getting ready to live with somebody in terms of relationship. You might be getting ready to get your business blowing up or start a business, change jobs, you know, uh, move locations. This is a powerful move, you know. Crown this energy, please, for Aries. And I have the Six of Swords in reverse. So what's hanging over your head is an energy of... I have to say a bit of stagnancy. I have to say it. I love you. I love you. We talking. All right. Now, if the six of swords was upright, we could say, yes, moving away from toxicity, moving away from the storm and going to calmer waters. But Aries, I think that, you know, the most high, the source, um, the divine and holy are bringing the storm to you but you're calm. How can I say that? You stay in the eye. Do that make sense? The storm is coming regardless. The tower's here, but you're going to be in the eye. See, and the empress is here, Libratorian energy coming in with the six of swords. It's hanging over your head. See, the abundance, intelligence, and embodiment of the four queens and the fertile energy of the empress, to see, she births life-changing events. You understand? And she's going to come in with this, uh, you know, because it's, it's something is not, it's not over, but it's over. I don't know how to say that. Help me with my words. Um, okay. It's, it, uh, there's a situation that is over, but you're not done. I don't know how this is. I, I'm trying to give you the words of this energy. Just bear with me. Um, you're not done. It's not over. It's not letting go. It's not all of those. Mm, let, th look at it like this. What this situation you would normally look at with your uh, flesh eyes as uh, a downfall or uh, uh, something bad that had happened to you that you can't let go of or whatever the case is. But what it's going to do is transform you. You know, because you, what we think is bad, God will make it for our good. Let's say it like that. You understand what I'm saying? Let me see what's working against Aries right now, because I love where you are. What's in the way? Okay. The Ten of Wands. It's hard. It's hard out here for a pep, ain't it? <laughs> ten of Wands. Okay. So letting go is hard. 
This is the same energy. Letting go is hard. Remember, I talked about the tower. I just, I built all this stuff and you talking about, I just got to put it down. Heck no. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but it will bless you. Seven of wands. Yeah, you're fighting against nature. You know, even though you feel so good, it's like, I feel so good. And at the same time, something I know is changing in my life, you know, something is trying to come through, something is trying to break through, but it, it's like Aries, if you, if you have a side hustle, let's say it like this. If you have a side hustle, you have a main job, you got a side hustle, right? You know, in today's economy, we need 15,000 incomes to run one household. Y'all know what I'm talking about, all right? So you got a side hustle and you can't let go of your main job, but your side job is growing, you know? But it's not to a point where it would sustain or replace the main job, you know, maybe for the benefits, medical, whatever the case is. You understand what I'm saying? But there's about to be a change um, and the change is coming with this tower. I'm not going to lie. So the main job might, the work might slow down or, or I don't know, something might happen with the main job and crowning you is in the mind. Your mindset is that this is terrible. You know, your mindset might say, this is terrible. You know, how, how can I readjust, you know, and what's working against you is you're fighting for something that God is removing. I'm not going to lie. Your, God is removing something from your life for the betterment and growth uh, of you, you know, and making changes in your life for the betterment and growth of you. And for whatever reason, because we're human, um, let's just call it what like we see it. Be, we can't see right now the blessing. Right now we're looking at the lightning strike in the tower and, and the crumble. And you, you know what I mean? Let's see. What brought this on? For Aries, please, past energy. Past energy, please, and thank you. Thank you. And I have a Ten of Cups in the reverse and a King of Swords in the reverse. Okay, so lately, basically, you may have uh, lost contact and communication with someone that maybe you thought was your everything, you know? And maybe since that loss of communication or separation, you haven't, you've been try, trying to, what do you call it? You've been struggling to find that kind of happiness, you know, Th that's not for everybody, but I'm just saying what's here. Okay. Now for others of you, I want to say this, you have a past that <sighs> kind of, I, I, I'm, I want to keep it positive that maybe your experiences have always led to disappointment, right? So you may have developed uh, a kind of sense of self-protection to say, you know how they say, I don't want to say nothing too soon. I don't want the devil to hear me, that kind of thing. Um, I think that some of you were in that energy for a minute. Like, I don't even want to say nothing. You know, um, the devil might hear me, it, you know, he might sabotage it. Okay, so the tower strikes and you're seeing the sabotage because you're accustomed to what you thought was uh, failure or, um, you know, some type of horrible or toxic intervention with your relationships or your endeavors or your um, accomplishments when you were trying to do something or get something started, you know, but this time it's not toxic. It's not the devil. It's not a bad thing. Not this one. Okay. This change is literally to move you. And I know you don't want to go or move, or you might not see like, where am I moving to? And, and I'm not saying literally for people moving houses. I'm saying, um, the next step or stage in your journey, the next chapter of life, that kind of thing. When I say move, we're thinking energetically because it's hard to let go of what you know with the 10 of wands working against you. But then with the six of swords overhead coming in reverse, it's like in your mind, what's hanging over your head is no matter what I do, I'm still in the middle of some type of storm. You know what I'm saying? No matter how I look at this, I'm darned if I do, I'm darned if I don't. You know, that's how you're seeing it right now with your flesh. But your spirit, your core is so calm. I cannot, I can't 
I don't know how to explain how I feel in your core energy. Like it's kind of like uh, gravity is lessened. Like you're, it's floating. Like it's just flowing. Um, it's a peace beyond all understanding. Does that make sense? So if you are going through changes right now, and maybe people are saying, oh my God, I would be freaking out. Or, oh my God, how are you holding it together? That's God's love and grace that's just in you. I'm telling you. All right, let's see where we're going. Future energy, please, for Aries. Where are we going with this? Please and thank you. Future energy. Hello. The Two of Swords. See, you still... <laughs> I'm laughing with you, baby. You know my moon is in Aries. But the Two of Swords, let's talk about it. So, traditional tarot, you would see a figure that has two swords um, and the they're blindfolded, right? And the purpose of the two swords is decision that needs to be made, you know? And it's a decision that needs to be made by way of a thought process. The thing about the two swords, the choice is not between good and bad because that would be an easy decision to make. The choice is between good and good or bad and bad, you know? So it's like, I don't want to choose. What I'll do is I'll let God be God and whatever happens, I'll react. It's kind of like that energy. But the problem is with that energy, God has already intervened with the tower and gave you a choice. That's how this is going to come in. The choice is going to be yours, but you're going to be like, I don't want to make the choice. I don't know which job to take. I don't know which guy I should date. I don't know, you know, blah, 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 blah. You know what I'm saying? The chariot is here. The Uber is here to pick you up. You have to give the driver a destination. You have to give the driver a destination. The chariot energy is um, energy of movement, you know, and you don't have a say in the journey, but you do have a say in the destination. There is a choice that needs to be made. Just think the Uber is coming to pick you up. God is sending you an Uber, but you have to give them a destination. You have to give them an address. What you going to do, boo? <laughs> oh, Aries, I can't wait. Let's see. <laughs> so it looks like you choose a new beginning, Page of Pentacles. Like I said, new business, new job. Uh, the, the Page of Pentacles is a new creation. It's an idea that's birthing, you know what I mean? And the Page of Swords. So you might uh, do some homework to research this matter, all right? And if it's we're talking about a relationship, you might have a little, little teensy bit of stalker in you. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, shh. I ain't gonna tell nobody. It's all right. It's just us, okay? But... Most of all, you're moving into a place of, of healing, okay, with temperance energy. This is Sagittarian energy. This is angelic waters to come and uh, refill your cup midway the journey, you know, midway the journey, all right? Because sometimes that tower leaves you thirsty. You're like, oh my God, now I got to walk into my next chapter of my life. I'm thirsty. That took all I had. So here's that uh, beautiful waters washing of the spirit to replenish you a bit, help you heal a bit with that temperance energy. Now, as far as your mind with this eight of swords, it is going to feel like entrapment because it's, you know, walking by faith is not always easy. You know, it's easier said than done you know, in this human experience. Okay. So you might have moments like you feel like, I don't know what to do. I'm stuck. I don't know where to go. I'm stuck. But the eight of pentacles is right behind this eight of swords. Keep going. Just keep pushing, keep working. Let it figure itself. It will figure itself out. The things will start falling into place. What you don't want to do is get caught up in foolishness. Okay. You don't want to, this is not a competitive thing. I know you guys are competitive, but this is not about na 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 na. I'm better. This is not about my business is going to be, I don't know, a, I'm going to be a cajillionaire and whatever the case is, you know, um, you don't want to get into that mindset because you don't want to, it, it's not about the trick. This is a life purpose. 
there's a difference. You know what I'm saying? It, it's not about a game. This is a life journey. This is a life experience, all right? So you want to definitely have control of that. And, and if other people are jealous of your moves and trying to figure you out and things like that, and they're saying they want what you have, and they're talking about you, about what you have or how you're moving, you'd let them talk, okay? Because internally, what you're achieving is emotional fulfillment with this Nine of Cups. Now, this energy here can be known to be a bit emotionally selfish. So your friends and family might come off like, Aries, you know, I haven't talked to you because you've been kind of closed off to everybody while you're dealing with all this, you know? But that's because you're working on your foundation, King of Pentacles. You're working on uh, the longevity of your um, investment. You know, the King of Pentacles is a planner for future generations, okay? And that's what you're working on. You're embodying confidence, focus, passion, your intuitive ability, are intact because you're in, um, connecting with your angels and ancestors with that queen of wands. There is some regrets of the shoulda, woulda, couldas, but you're not allowing the shoulda, woulda, couldas to control you to a point that you don't have um, optimism about the future. See, whatever you regret that you may have had from what you've done or didn't do, what you said or didn't say, who loved you and who didn't, whatever the case was with that five of cups that talks about emotion. On the other side of that, on the positive aspect of that is that God is still God coming in with this ace of cups to not just fill the three that you think is spilled over or what you think is lost, but replenish and restore you from the inside out from the top to the bottom. This is God's divine love coming in. Okay. This is also reconciliation energy. If that's your interest with that ace of cups, a new beginning can happen, but it will take effort with that page of wands. Okay. Keep your emotions intact. King of Cups is here, all right? And move with passion. Use your intuition, Knight of Wands to the High Priestess. Whatever you want, you, your angels and ancestors want you to have it too, Six of Pentacles. They're working with you, okay? You're getting the provisions that you need, the manna uh, that you that is falling from the heavens for you, what you need when you need it, okay? It, it's there to assist you on your divine path with that lovers, you know, coming in. That's getting Getting in alignment with your divine path. Okay. So expect great things and stay optimistic. Three of wands here and eat, don't accept no wooden nickels. You know, uh, that's an old saying, but basically don't fall for the banana and the tailpipe. Okay. That's a different saying. <laughs> I'm messing with you, Aries. <laughs> but what we don't want is fake or less than what we deserve, you know, things like that. You know, we're not taking just any scraps. You know what I'm saying? Aries, you work too hard. So no, you want it all. You want it all. And the more you think about it, the more you want. See, there's that Empress coming back. The more you think about it, four of cups, four of swords, that Empress just shows up. You want it all and you deserve it. So let's go get it, okay? All right, guys, I'm gonna leave this here and I hope it helps. Now, if in the event you say green eyes, I don't even know what you're talking about. This is not my life. I'm okay with that. All right, check your moon or rising sign. Just don't take the energy with you if it's not for you. Leave it here for another Aries. Everybody, thumbs up, subscribe. Make sure you guys are notified of future readings. It is absolutely free to do so and it supports the channel. Remember, we are all perfectly imperfect. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye.